What's up? We're about to cook. We're about to make a chicken salad. Um, we're gonna get it going. But before we do any of that, we gotta clean up the sink and get all the dishes cleaned up before we even start prepping the chicken and cooking. So stay tuned, follow along. If you guys do like it, try it at home. 100% recommended. It. It's a nice chicken salad. And I might potentially do a chicken sandwich. I don't know yet, so stay tuned. Okay, now that we got the sink clean, everything clean, we got the chicken. So, usually buy this chicken that's already pre-sliced. You know, we're probably gonna use one packet. We're gonna cut it open, clean it, you know, let it run for a little bit. And then we're gonna prep the sauce on the blender. And I'm gonna show you all the ingredients to put inside so we can marinate this chicken. So yeah, these are all the ingredients that I will be using. A little bit of parsley, onion powder, garlic and herbs, lemon juice, cracked pepper, and salt. So we're gonna clean the parsley, put it here, and then we're gonna blend it. So you want to use like three of these little packages if you can get the packages if you can't and you got to get the whole bunch i would say this would equal like a whole bunch right here a whole bunch that you can find at walmart stop the shop and um after that you want to go ahead you want to rinse it in the sink we got the chicken already rinsed ready to go so when i blend it it'll be ready to go so yeah you want to rinse the parsley Give it a nice wash before you use it. Right. And then onto the blender. Once you got the parsley in the blender, you want to go ahead and get half a cup of lemon juice and then a cup of oil. You can use any type of oil, avocado oil, organic oil, whichever oil is that you prefer is perfectly fine. Once you put it in the blender, it looks like this. Then you just want to add a little bit of onion powder, garlic and herbs, black pepper and salt on the blender and let it blend. There you have it, it's all ready to get blended. All of the ingredients inside the blender. And now we're gonna let it blend. exactly the color that you want so once you've finished blending you want to add the mix to the chicken to a bowl like this and um basically you're going to marinate the chicken i usually grab a glove put it all in there Got it in there like i said if you don't have gloves you can grab a spoon a fork whatever it is that you have in hand and you want to make sure you get all of that in there in the chicken marinate it nice and good so when you do cook it all the flavors are combined So once you're done moving it and marinating it, you want to add a little bit of just pure garlic powder. So it gives it that extra flavor. Once you add that, you give it another nice mix around, you know, make sure all the garlic gets into it. You move it around. Once we're done, we're going to cover it. We're going to put it in the fridge so all the flavors can get into the chicken. And once we cook it, you'll taste all those wonderful tasty flavors and we got the chicken all done and marinated now you want to go ahead cut your lettuce up get it rinsed get it cleaned and then we'll move on to um the next part which would probably be um the carrots since my wife loves carrots on the salad i know people 
put tomatoes, cucumbers, olives. But she's pretty straightforward and simple. All she wants is carrots and peanuts, lettuce, and the chicken. So stay tuned. Here we got the carrots. You know, want to clean the carrots right there. Then I got a little shredder. So it's blue like the carrots shredded. Like that. Just want to shred them. Simple. And we're almost done. Get everything going. And then I'm going to start getting the pan all warmed up so I can start frying the chicken. So once you got everything ready, chicken has been marinated once again. Got it out. Got the pan going. Once it's nice and warm, you want to drop a little bit of butter. Butter. Let the pan do its magic. And yeah, you just want to move it around, make sure it goes everywhere. So when you put that chicken, it does not stick to your pan. And then the rest is magic. And there you guys have it. The chicken is cooking. It's doing its thing. If you guys could smell this, you guys would be like, holy, it smells delicious. You can smell all the herbs, the lemon flavor. It's just all there. And what we want to do, we want to make sure we cook it, give it a little bit of crunch to it. You know, a little bit of nice, nice, well done chicken. Now we have flipped it to the other side. Gonna get the other crunch on the other side. We're gonna flip it like two to three times, I would say. But yeah, it's starting to smell even better in here now. Woo! So there you have it. That is how you wanna cook the chicken. Just like that. A little bit of crunch. The other side is almost done. We're about to take it out, chop it up, and get the salad going. So there's the chicken. That's how you want to have it. We're going to slice it. We got the lettuce here. We got the carrots. We got a bowl. And we're going to set up this amazing salad. So stay tuned. And there you guys have it. It's pretty simple. Lettuce, carrots, peanuts, chicken. It's simple. My wife doesn't really like tomatoes, cucumbers. If they were for me, I would have added tomatoes, cucumbers. Um, I don't like olives, but some people would have put olives. Probably some type of cheese like feta cheese, mozzarella cheese. But yeah, she's pretty simple. So this is how she wanted it. This is how it is. Right now I'm just gonna mix it, you know, shake it up. So it can all mix together and then put it in the bowl. And there it is, the chicken salad, all done, all plated. And now I'm gonna be making my chicken sandwich. So for the chicken sandwich, you wanna grab whatever type of bread you want. We got whole wheat bread. I'm gonna toast it. And then for the chicken, it's the same process. All I'm adding is the mozzarella cheese so it can melt. Once it's done melted and the bread is toasted, we will then add mayonnaise, if you like mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, and the chicken. And there's the chicken sandwich. Lettuce, tomato, the chicken, a little bit of mayonnaise. And there you guys have it. So if you guys enjoyed the video for today and you guys want to see more cooking videos, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned to the next video.